Hello everybody and welcome to the first look of Elementalis. Elementalis is a retro inspired Zelda like adventure game with a focus on elemental attacks and the use of these elemental skills in problem solving and that sort of thing. So let's jump in here and see what this game is about. I've been watching the development of this game. I'm pretty excited. This is the demo. The link for the demo will be in the description below. And for some reason, I look like I am running out of letters to put in here. And I don't like that, but we'll see. It seems like, yeah, we, oh, okay. We got him. There we go. I was worried there for a second. I know in a lot of the early adventure games where you could put a name in, there is only so many letters that you could do to save space. I was worried that this was this did that for some reason. Now with pretty much all the space in the world, you should let me put in any number that I, or any number of letters that I want. So here we go. I like him. Let's see, we got a little sword here. Let's see what we got. We're in a fire temple here. We've got some consumables, a health potion and a mana potion. We've got a apprentice sword, an apprentice shield and some clothes. That's what our equipment is. Okay, that's kind of cool. Interesting, let's see what we've got there. Let's see if we can pick these up can we pick these up oh there we go we can pick them up and throw them i like that i like that i'm curious about the oh okay i was like i was curious about the elemental aspect of this i'm not sure yet oh we got something can we read this sign advice for the demo you can punch blocks moving towards them can we punch block? Oh, we can push blocks moving towards them. Oh, I think I just ruined. Oh, nope. There we go. Yeah, I ruined that puzzle. What does this say over here? We don't seem to have any kind of run though. Advice for the demo. You can pick up and throw the pots with a J or A. I want to, can I go out because I need to reset the demo you are playing contains the first temple of the game. The overworld is not available yet. Okay. So we're going to have to see if we can reset. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I was trying to reset that. Let's see how we're going to do this. Usually you push one up. That's, I think, what I did last time, but it didn't work because I can't get once I move them once, I can't move them again. How would I get around that? And I think, oh no, we don't. We don't need to go that way. That's fine. I can go around and hit the button from this side here. I like the temple though. That lava is pretty cool. Oh no. Oh, so we're going to have to come back down through here. I don't know how to get out of here. <laughs> I can't figure it out. So if we push that one over, that one down. I still can't, can I pull them? How in the world am I gonna get out of here? If I push that one over, still it's not gonna work why is this so difficult for me because you can only push each block one time and i am for the life of me trying to figure this out and i cannot oh that that push that one down there we go Woo, that was much harder than it had to be 
I want to hit something. Let me hit something. Advice for the demo. Use your sword with J or X. Okay. I could try. Oh, we got a bat. Bat. Hey, come here, come here, come here. Oh, I like this. I like the little skull animation as you kill the enemy. We got little rats, rats and bats. Those are two very common enemies here. Can I find anything in the pots? I want to know what that little guy floating behind me is. Oh, I found a gold thing, I think. I really want to know what the elements are. Open the map with enter. Okay, yeah, that was what we were looking at earlier. We are on the first floor still. I wonder if they give us some. Oh, God, I really want some elements right now. That rat, get him. Oh, we found a map. Yeah, boy. So now we have the whole map. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. But I don't think I can go up this way because if I move that block, yeah, those are the only two that I can get to. I'm feeling that is like a way back from somewhere. Let's stay left. Oh, we got a dark room. Oh, I don't like this. We got there. Is that a pot? Okay. There's a. Oh, yeah, we found a key. That's good. I really don't like this dark room here. I mean, it's kind of neat, but I really wish there was a way to light it up I found a key I'm not sure what the key is for yet maybe I just need to find I wonder if this is how we use our elements here trying to just make sure there's nothing in the middle here I can't go this way I'm assuming that at some point we can have an element of fire that's going to light these torches Well, let's head on this way. Those two were roadblocks. Ooh, slugs. It looks like lava slugs. I like that. That's kind of cool. I like how they're not adhered to the squares so they can turn whenever they want to. And that's going to make a very interesting pattern there on the ground. You could actually see that they could be kind of off a half a square or something like that. That's kind of interesting. I like the little lava. That's definitely something that is unique. There's a, been like poison slugs and all kinds of stuff like sticky slugs. I don't think I've ever seen a lava slugs before in a game like this. And I really like that. That's really cool and unique. I gotta make sure there's nothing in any, any of these pots ever. <laughs> More advice for the demo. Use the shield to protect yourself with L or... Okay, so we got a little shield here. Oh, gosh. We got to run on those. Hey, oh, okay. There's our... That's why we need the shield. So I should be able to put the shield... I kind of want him to shoot at me. Yeah, there we go. Ow! Hey, I ran into him. That wasn't smart. Wonder I could sneak tack him around the corner. Eh, how many hits is it going to take to kill him? Two. More than two. We also have bats to worry about. Three. Okay, it's going to take three hits to get these guys. Not too bad. Oh, shield. Yeah, I got my heart back. Woo! One this way, left, always left. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> Can't go that way. You have to try and make sure that it's blocked off. I was going to say, yeah, something about those. That is decidedly a trap of some sort. I want what's on whatever's in this pot. I want it. Nope, nothing. Ooh, I like these enemies. I really like. Oh, goosh. 
Something attacked me from behind. It's like a, I don't know, what was that? Oh, it's like a, like a wizardrobe or something kind of guy. That's kind of why he appeared out of nowhere. What in the world? Where are you? Yeah, trying to get him. He's gonna be hard. That, yeah, that cape from behind looked very weird. I, I, I can see the animation now, but at first it was hard to see. I like the enemies run to you when they see you. Can I throw these at people? Well, is that gonna hurt them? Oh, okay. A thrown pot is stronger than a sword. But who would have known? I mean, like, wow, who would have thought? I like how the world or the areas are bigger than the screen and it kind of just moves the camera around to fill in where you are. We got a... Definitely have that down there, that locked door, but I'm trying to explore out as much as I can here. That's the lava we were at earlier. Okay, so what's gonna be up? These bats are driving me nuts already. <laughs> the bats are driving me crazy. Well, we got the, oh, I thought we had all the slugs. I really, really like that lava. Lava slug. Okay, we've got three keys now and it looks like that's the we've been up there we kind of went around i really want a ranged attack to get these bats what is oh i think i was i saw this but i don't think i was able to get was this just straight across here without going around i think so because right up here was the door we went yeah Okay, so we went around for no, no, not no reason. So it looks like we've got a locked door. I wish I knew what some of those symbols mean because you've got the treasure chest. I know what those are, but it looks like those are buttons. Is that what that like? It almost looks like a button that I need to push down. I really like this game already. I'm finding very quickly, like, I like these adventure style Zelda kind of games a lot. Got a key. Oh, that was a, wasn't a bad idea. I wonder if those come back. Will they come back? Okay, they come back quickly. I was wondering if they'd come back like, oh, I must hit that lava there. If they came back quickly or did they come back when you exited the area? And that's kind of the question I had. And it looks like they come back rather quickly, which is good. Come on. Slow lava slugs. That's all right. That's why I want a ranged weapon somewhere. Oh, wait, wait, wait let's wait until he gets going back the other way because I would have been stuck there if... I don't want to be stuck. I would have had to like try to attack him while he was and then get on the lava or something while I was on that falling rock. Oh gosh. These seem to do a lot of damage to things. Let's fire, fire everywhere. I ugh, ouch. Ah, I missed him. Oh, but there's a heart. You know, just watch out for the yeah. I don't know if I could just brute force it i'm a little worried trying to brute force it and it looks like we're gonna have to kill them all There's everywhere. Yeah. oh yeah these pots are like amazing secret weapon pots of indestructibility is the secret weapon here in this game it looks like hey Ah, oh, shoot, missed him. And that was my last pot, too. No! Here we go. Eh. Could would like to have a roll or a dodge at some point as well. Oh, no, no, no! 
Oh, I guess I didn't really matter. I didn't need the heart. Oh, no. No! If we can run, run it. Bats are on my way. Get out of my way, bats. <laughs> no, run! Ah! I've been getting enough hearts that I don't think it matters, but wow. Okay. That one wasn't too bad. The bats got my way a little bit. And it's awful wide. I hate when they're really thin, but that was definitely a wide, much easier area to traverse. There we go. Oh, we got another health potion, I believe. I believe that's what that was. Yeah, it looks like we got two health potions there, so that's good. I'm gonna start checking out more pots for health potions. Oh, the, the, I think the treasure chest gave us the health potion, not the pot. Can I open the chest? Nope. Not from the side, just from the front. Okay. That might play in, uh, might play into the game. The fact that the treasure chest can only open from one side. We're just gonna run it. If I get a couple hits here, I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. Yeah, those aren't normally as bad as I normally don't like that mechanic because I feel that the square is so big. I'm not locked into the grid of the game or anything. And the squares are so big that it's really not that hard to stay on it which is really the thing I don't like. When the grid is real small and you have to stay to the grid especially, it is really easy to fall off when they're one square wide. Oh, there we go. We got fire over here, so we're probably gonna have to grab something with fire to open up these doors here. Oh no! Ooh, I almost walked right out of that. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, do I get the element? Mm, oh, I love the shadow on him! That's amazing! The thing was on fire and it showed me a shadow. Can I hit him now that he's rock form? Look at that shadow in front of me. That is awesome! Okay, so that is exceedingly cool. I wonder if it that's just a really nice, simple, easy effect there to put that. Well, I don't know if easy, I don't know about the development, but the light of the fire rock and there's a light around him. If you can see, let's see if he, oh, here you go. You can see he's like putting off a light, cast a shadow on myself. That's just amazing. Really, really cool effect there. Come on, die already. Yeah, no, I thought I had him. Yeah. <laughs> Run, little guy. Okay. He seems to be a pretty easy boss. He's fairly easy to figure out. If this is the first temple, yeah, this is not a bad first boss. Oh, I got stuck on the wall. No. I mean, those fires go out a very predictable ray and a very predictable angle very predictable length so that wasn't too bad all kinds of hearts i don't think i needed that many hearts but okay advice for the demo use the elemental ability with k or right trigger well i don't have oh so now i have it oh wait maybe these just oh okay they're just lighting up now i got the elemental ability of fire oh the little guy turned to fire it was a just a little ball so he's my elemental magic guy and it's just oh I like this this is so cool okay so we're gonna have to light these torches yep to get back out man this game is amazing we have a little magic bar up there now under our health Oh, we're going to have to so get this game when it comes out. This is just amazing. I really like that. And again, I want to show you that the, the sh 
shadow effect of me. There was another shadow effect there. I'll have to show you it again, but there's definitely was a neat shadow effect. Both of these sort of lead to the same. Oh, oh, fire versus fire is good. Yo, no. Oh, he's on fire. That's kind of cool, though. It looked like it did a second hit there when he was on fire. Like over time, it did a another damage because he was on fire. I do still have another key, so we could go up that way. Here's another mana potion. Wonder what's up. Did I go up? I maybe I came in that. I don't think I came in that way. That might be like a boss key that I need to get. It looks like we need to go down this way. I really love this. This is awesome. This is so good. I feel that we need to get a boss key. Okay. So this, yeah, this is definitely going to help me here. Oh, it's going to be one of those that it's going to get lighter as I. Oh, cool. And then they go out. That's really cool. And there's bats in here. We just need. Oh, whoops. <laughs> that was not good. And we've got to be careful because we only have so much mana here. I do like that the guy's radius of light is now much bigger now because he's fire. He's projecting much more light around me. Which is cool. It didn't show me what it did. But I'm going to assume that I need to get off there. <laughs> All right, so we're going to push that and then push that. That's going to get me out. Oh, wrong button. No. Yeah, rat, give me health. I like that. I'm trying to use this to hit one of the rats. Okay, it's going to kill one of the rats right away. So there you can see that shadow effect of these big candles again. I'm blocking out. That's really cool. I really like that lighting effect. And uh, this is probably a boss key. There we go. I figured that other one's the boss that must be a how do I get that way? What do I need to do? A... There we go. There's a button. No, I'm... I still have an extra... Oh, you know what? I think I saw the key up here. Yeah, there we go. Is there something? I... I'm curious. Is there something up? No, <laughs> absolutely not. Nothing at all. But that's a good place to put like a treasure chest or something there. I feel at the end there. Okay, we got a, ooh, a mana shard. Okay. So we're gonna be able to increase our mana and probably our health at the, at some point too. There also seems to be a delay in the firing. I can't shoot them extremely fast. The mana shoots and I gotta wait for a second. Where are we now? We got the boss key now, so we're going back this way. Okay. Of that. I, I will not get over that lighting effect. That is just amazing. That shadow there is really cool. Clear these out really quickly and head up on and see what the boss is. Ooh, what's that? Is that good or bad? I don't. Oh, it's like a warp part. Oh, okay, that's cool. So before we get to the boss, we could warp back to the beginning of the temple. That's awesome. Okay, I like that. 
or if we die at the boss, we can warp in. I like that there. Oh, he's a candle. That's awesome. That is too good. A candle and we're gonna have to beat him with fire. That's hilarious. That is too, too funny. So he's gonna have to be lit. And then we're gonna have to hit him as much as we can. I love that. That's hilarious. That is just too funny. Oh, we took a lot of damage there, I think. Oh, maybe not. There we go. Oh, I need to get away from that. Yep. Oh, those little candles do only a quarter hit, so we got to be careful. Not sure if... Oh, I can hit him as long as he's lit. So we don't have to hit him quickly. We just got to hit him when he's lit. So we can stand back a little bit and let these torch guys come at me and then hit him some more. There we go. I kind of want to hit him with the tor fire. Oh, I can't. Eh. I love this. He's getting shorter too, I think. I think the candle's getting shorter. Ugh. Yeah, he's going faster too. Oh, I got him lit. He's lighting. Oh, this is not good. He's getting three of these guys now. Run. Oh, come on. Stop. Come on, die. Oh, gosh. Almost had him. I'm really worried. Oh, okay, come on. We can get this guy. He just need that air to go. And he's coming down for the third one. Oh, no. Thought I had him. No way. <laughs> Come on, die. Oh, there we go. We got him. I love it. That boss is amazing. That's so cool. Having a candle as your boss on the... That is awesome. That is... Oh, my. We have definitely got to pick this up. There'll be a link to the Kickstarter there as well. I believe the Kickstarter is ongoing. I am not sure about that. But if the Kickstarter is ongoing, there'll be a link to that and the demo in the description below this game is amazing i highly recommend you check it out and i will be keeping my eye on this thank you so much for watching and i will see you all next time bye everybody